Life only happens once. There is no way to turn back time. Would you accept being the last person alive? Hello and welcome, my lords, and today we are playing Note of the Day. I don't know anything about that, but that's not going to stop me from experiencing this. 041022, that is today. The game is in my computer. I love it. I love it. Okay, so what do we get? The synopsis was like you get a note or something, but I guess I'm just the last person alive. Hold on, everything's a little laggy. Give me a second to tinker with controls. Eventually. Here we go, let's get this game going. Note of the day. Uh, it is 14.32, that is the actual time. So I guess I am playing me, and I have no legs, and I'm just walking around on like little nubs that I have for toes, because I do not know how to take any kind of urgency with my steps. I'm a little annoyed by that. You should put a glow stick down by the letter. I guess that would make me notice it. If I could pick, I'm very tall, I guess. Um, Dev, I don't know if I'm supposed to read that, but I can't really pick it up. Who knocked down my painting? What? Okay, so my only complaint at the moment, and it's gonna be the big one, and I know the game has just started, and I have so much going on in my life that this is what I'm complaining about. Ah, jeez. But don't don't make my my walking speed that of somebody who sh who doesn't have legs or wheels as a substitute, because like. That just infuriates me. I'm gonna be more focused on the fact that I know whatever tries to get me, I can't run away from because I am so painfully slow. But that aside, um, oh, the clock's not moving. Time has stopped. <gasps> All right, we're getting plot now. A few inches later. Okay, it's been six hours. I've got to the end of that hallway that had the clock. The door started opening. Oh, is this? Is this like a PT style thing? Okay. Okay, you have piqued my interest. I'm not going back for the doorknob. Uh, it's way too heck and far away. So like, fine. I can't even, I can't. Oh, I've got a camera. What? Oh, there's no. Okay, that's, that's nifty. All right, maybe I'm supposed to like take letters or take photos of the letters because I can't, I can't read them. I'm zoomed out so heckin' far that I don't know if that's what it wants of me. Um, I'm walking, okay, so I, it's seriously, and I know this is kind of silly of me, but the fact that I walk so slow makes me not not afraid of anything. I just have no way to get my bearings. All right, well, I guess I'll go this way. And I'll just keep doing the lights here. Those little specks of dust, though, are throwing me off. Okay, is that... It's like some weird goopy stuff? Oh! No, okay, that's just a curtain. That's fine. Is there... Man, are you a sir sitting down on that... Oh, okay, I guess the lightning went off. I don't know what it is. Um, this has a lot of makings for something scary. and I've got goosebumps, but I'm not on edge at all because like it's it's a PT thing and death may be an option and it definitely it comes back I'm sorry dev but it comes back to my walking speed if I had the option to sprint it would like subtly trigger in my brain that oh I might need to run away which means I might have a chance but that's that we all know that's not true but you got me going with the whispers. Like, that's definitely where the goosebumps came from. Miss? 
Are you all right? I can't read the notes you've been leaving for me, so I tried to take a photo of it. Um, oh. All right, well, you got me with that. I guess I'm supposed to turn around and there's gonna be something horrible behind me. Oh, I do have a crouch button. Well, now I've gotta go and read all of these stinking photos and letters that have been left for me that I don't even know if they're gonna be accurate because I didn't, I didn't see that stuff. Oh, there we go. Note one, having a job just feels useless. I come home, take a shower, eat dinner, and go back. There's no one waiting for me at home anymore. Will there even be someone left to read this letter? I feel like I'm just walking in circles. Yep, that's kind of life, to be honest with you. Quit your jobs. Everything is meaningless. Uh, burn down the elites because that, nothing gets better. Uh, I keep hearing sounds that are not there. The silence is killing me and there's no way to communicate with anyone anymore. There are some dead bodies near my apartment, but it doesn't seem like anyone besides me has noticed. I don't know if someone is coming for them at any point, but if they do, I'll make them shoot me. Oh! Oh my, okay. I still can't go very fast, so we're just going a little crawl over here. Tatapatapenis tatug. That's the words I got out of there. All right. I guess the, the, the simulation has, is breaking down. Um, oh, creepy, creepy like, Sliny things. Hello? I don't know what might be monstering down here, but I'm ready for you. Oh, that's the only door I have available. Go ahead. What's in there? Come on. Can I? Oh! Okay. That's still happening up top. If I was living this, if I was living this, absolutely, I'd be, I'd be out of my mind with fear and just how loud this is all getting. Oh, and it just stops, I guess. Uh, but I'm not living this. And I am um, just, I guess I'm just supposed to go to bed. Was that my walk home from work? Oh. What? Who are you? Note of the day, this is now the end of the current playable teaser. Thanks for playing. Okay, so yeah, very. Uh, it was very much a PT thing. Dev, uh, the jump scare wasn't really well built up to. And I don't want to be harsh. Like, you did have a lot of good buildings blocks there. But I had no idea there was a monster, right? And definitely moving so slowly. Uh, it's, it's kind of obvious that was your way to artificially extend the length of playtime. Which, it's... Eh, your players are going to be smart most of the time. They're going to know when something just doesn't feel right from a gamer sense. But other than that, the sound effects, very good. I liked the camera having to light up the hallway at some point. That would have been nice. There were, weren't enough, like, you know, subtle jump scares using the camera effect to make me feel like there was something actually coming to get me. And I think that's what ultimately makes the last jump scare kind of cheap. But I think you could really work with this, because the PT platform uh, for making scary games is mm, muy delicioso. You can almost never go wrong with it. And you've got you've got a good palate here, and I'm just not tasting it right now, but I want to. So keep it up, and I will look forward to the final version if you make another version of this. All right, my lords, that is all the time I have for for today. I will see you in the next video. If you want to subscribe, just follow the subscribe button, and then you can see the next videos. Okay, bye.